I low-key was farming some Twitter clout yesterday. 8,000. I think it's the most likes a tweet of mine's ever got. You know, low-key low key farming some Twitter clout by, you know, pumping up CSGO. But, you know, the numbers are pretty impressive. Like, literally nothing, literally fucking nothing is happening at the moment. But we're still setting, this isn't a record, but it's the highest number since April 2021. So it's a good time for the game. Like, the game's doing well despite the lack of updates from Valve. Now, this video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Check out Skins Monkey to quickly and easily trade your CSGO skins. Use the code Zeus to get up to $5 extra on your first trade, as well as a bonus when depositing. Link is in the description. Check it out today. Oh yeah, Zeuspa. Yeah, Zeuspa made a comment. You know, if we can update now, the numbers are going to shoot through the roof. Now, this, this may well be the case. Like, if there's any sort of meaningful update, uh, particularly if it's related to skins, actually, like an operation or like a new case, that will almost certainly lead to a massive spike in player numbers because people will be playing to, you know, get the new skins or get the new case dropped or stuff like that. What it might not do is um, increase skin prices. Any big update that affects skins probably will have the opposite impact. Basically, lately, skin prices haven't been having a good time. That, so you can see on, this is a, a popular liquid. You see, ooh, graph comes down like this. Now, that's corrected itself recently, like we've had the fall off and it's you know bottomed out and it's going back up a bit it may keep going up from this point it may flatline it may go back down you, we don't know we don't know it's just it's these things are hard to predict but um for now the fall in prices has stopped and it's started to go back up a bit just because it's going up now doesn't mean it's going to keep on going up it's very hard to predict although in fairness in fairness the fact that Cisco's Coast Playlist is doing so well does support you know this price continue to go up it doesn't guarantee it I mean Playvest was going up, the whole time was going down, but the fact that Playvest is doing so well does increase the chances of prices continuing to go up. But that whole diversion aside, if there's a big new update, uh, particularly a new case or an operation, anything that has new skins, it is probably, even though it may make play numbers spike, it's unlikely to make skin prices spike. In fact, short term it may well have the opposite impact. If there is a new case, it will almost certainly have new goals, regardless of how it's released, whether it's a standalone operation, it will certainly have new golds. Now, my guess, I, I like I like showcasing my guess. My prediction is it'll be these knives, the, the Shattered Web knives with chrome finishes. Oh, obviously, that is just a guess. I, again, I don't know if it's for certain, but that's my guess about what we'll end up with. If we get a new gold, though, that will almost certainly negatively affect the prices of other knives. Short term, short term only, long term it won't, but in the short term, it probably will be quite bad for the price of knives. Maybe, maybe quite bad is an exaggeration, but it's certainly not going to help them increase. Um, and if it's an operation or anything like that, operations tend to cause massive market crashes. Again, these are short term. Uh, long term operations tend to increase skin prices because they make people more engaged with the game, but short term, they cause crashes because people start liquidating their skins in order to, you know, buy operation coins, operation passes, new skins from the operation, the, the info of new skins and ways of getting new skins, short term it is really bad for skin prices. Long term, long term overall, long term it's it's good, often they go up even more than they fill in the first place, but just be aware if there is a big update coming, it's probably not going to be good for the price of skins. Don't panic sell and ditch all your skins, it's a very bad idea because they will recover, but just be aware, big updates tend to crash the market. They don't, they don't boost it. It's, it's unusual they boost it. They tend to crash it. Short term, short term only. 